What's going on, everybody? It is Tuesday. Everybody's back to work after all that Labor Day fun, you know. My fun, you know, was on this guy here. And I'm hoping, you know, within the next few hours, uh, finish it up. I have to do the valve lash since we went with a bigger cam. Uh, and get the header on. I got the coolant lines. Put the distributor on. And, uh... Hang on, horse flies, man. You guys don't know what them are. They're like that big, and when they bite, they take chunks of skin out. <laughs> uh, but, yep, gotta get that. Gotta put my uh, downshift import decal on. Once I get the hood closed, I'll be able to measure and center it up better and get that done. Uh, but, yeah, we're on a downhill slope, man. Gotta get the dizzy in and the fuel line and a couple other little things like I said and should be ready to eat hopefully and hopefully it runs good so get all that grist on my head yeah it's a rough day at work got another overhaul to do another Cummins ISX yeah I'll have to make a video on that you know I'll show you guys what I do uh, for my daily job I'm gonna get cracking on this. Tools you're gonna need. You're gonna need, I like these angled feeler gauges. And this guy works wonders. You get it off Amazon for like, I think 10 bucks. It's got the 10 millimeter at the end and your screwdriver. So you can tighten uh, your jam nut while you hold the center. Alright, since I'm closest to this side, let's check the exhaust. I'll look for my 8,007 inch feeler gauge. There it is. It's going to go underneath the lobe. Now you don't want too much drag, you just want slight drag. And, uh,. It almost feels like these can be adjusted a little tighter. So, I'm going to adjust them. Intake side. You know what? Around seven thousandths on the exhaust. Okay, those need adjusted. Intake side, I am on to run six thousandths, so let's check the intake side. All right, so they need adjusting. Oh, get a little awesome tool they sell. Put it down there. Break the jam nut loose. And what I like to do, I like to screw it down and back it off a few times, work it. Seven thousandths of an inch feeler gauge. Come on from this side so we can get the tool on there. When you do it, you want a slight drag. If it gets stuck, just 
kind of work it a little bit till you get it right. They are pretty finicky. And you might have to readjust it after you tighten your jam nut down. Because it, it can change it. Call that good. And it don't take much when you tighten your jam nut. Alright. Feeling some drag. I got that dang on uh, lube on there. Just out of curiosity, I want to see how it feels with 8,000s in there. Since we just adjusted it. Alright. Eight thousands does not go in there, but seven thousand still is. That's how you know you got to adjust it properly, also. Check this side. This side needs it. Stick the tool down in there. I'm going to bring this camera in and show you what it's on so you know. Alright. See right in there. We did this one at your jam nut and the center one actually goes up and down and that applies the tension on the valve stem and that sets your lash on your rocker too tight, you're going to chew your cams up. Too loose, you're going to have a lot of valve chatter. And then in here on the back side, let me see if I get some light on this. I don't know why, but I can't get my light to work. So you can kind of see in there, hopefully. You just tuck your uh, feeler gauge right there underneath the cam and the rocker on top of the rocker. That's where you're setting your, your valve lash. I'm going to hurry up. Get these finished adjusted out. Try to get some more stuff knocked out. And uh, I'll uh, try to document it as I go. You know, I'm always short on time, so trying to make long videos is kind of hard. But I'm going to try. And uh, yeah, hopefully this thing's out on the road ripping here in, you know, a couple hours, and I can take it up and go get some groceries. All right, so correction. It went one. It looks like the lobes are up on three on intake, well, on exhaust and intake. So that's our next ones that we're going to do. So one, three. I wonder if it's going to be two and then four. I guess we'll see. I guess that chart I'd read was a little wrong. And we got our arrows, the up arrows pointing at nine o'clock. All right, so your valve adjustment, it goes. When you bar it over, your arrow's up. You got cylinder one pointing at nine o'clock. You do cylinder three pointing down at six. You're going to do cylinder four. And then when you're pointing at 3 o'clock, you're going to come and do cylinder 2. So far I have 1 and 3 done. I am going to hit 4. Alright, so I'm an hour and a half in. Got it hooked up. Got coolant in it. Got all my wires and stuff hooked back up. Uh, just going to double check over a couple things and... Get ready to fire this thing up for the first time and sink or swim. Alright, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to turn this key a few times, let it cycle so I can prime the fuel system. Since I did unhook the fuel feed line and the little uh, return line, you know, the little regulator. Uh, but... Hopefully all's good. I'll crank that, well, turn the key a few times. Alright. Alright, 
out and see if we can't get a test hit off. I'm gonna turn it. It's gonna fire up. We'll let it, you know, fire up, run for a second. I'm gonna shut it off so we can build up some oil pressure. After it's run, I'm going to get back on the ground and we have to set ignition timing on the distributor. Get her dialed back in. All right, so when you're setting ignition timing, make sure that your vehicle is warmed up. And uh, so that's what I'm waiting for this to do. You know, waiting for the, uh, the fan to kick on. Here I am tired again. <laughs> uh, waiting for the fan to kick on and that'll let me know it's up to operating temperature. And uh, I'm gonna flip this around and show you how to hook up your timing light. And uh, yeah, go from there. I'm gonna show you uh, how to time this thing. All right, so you got a negative and a positive on your timing gun. And that other guy over there, you hook that on your number one wire. And every time you know, number one hits and comes around, that thing's gonna shoot a spark. Well, not a spark, but a, a light flash. And, uh, yeah, you see that? What's cool about mine, it'll actually show you your idle. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to aim this guy down there and see how far off we are. Yeah, we're off some. You know what? There's your TDC mark, and then, you know, past the TDC, towards the front, you'll have three marks. Shoot for the middle one. It should be red. Right? As good as quality. Right, watch my wires. Right. I don't know if you can see them down there. Hold on. Let me get this thing angle a little better. There they are. Yeah, you see them? Now look how far forward towards the firewall the marks are. I need to adjust that distributor to get that middle mark, that red mark, lined up with that corner right there, center of the camera. And then again, you know, all that changes when, you know, your car gets up to operating temperature. That's why the best time to do it is when it's operating temperature. Not only that, when you adjust your valves, make sure you do that cold. You always want to do your valve adjustment cold. Ignition timing setting. Do it when it's warm. All right, set so the operating temperature. So I'm going to put the gun on it. See where I'm at now. And slowly adjust the distributor either this way or this way. More likely towards the front so I can get that timing mark lined up. Perfect. All right, just to show you guys. I had a rotator in the, in the front just a little bit. Let me get some zoom action in. This is on the money now. See the three marks right there, center screen? That's where it needs to be. Alright, guys, so it's the day after I'm back working on the car. I'm out here doing a street tune on it. Adjusting some fuel and ignition tables and getting this thing running way better. So.
definitely happy with how it's running. I guess when my dude Bryce gets home from work, I'm going to uh, have him drive it so I could dial some more shit in. Alright, I'm gonna try to do a second gear pull for you guys. So, seen the car running, you know, as it, you know, I drove it, kept pulling over, adjusting other stuff and whatnot, it started running way better. I got VTEC engaging at, I want to say five, five grand. So, I'll have to, have to make some new videos and show you guys, you know, of it ripping and stuff. And probably here in a couple of weeks, it's going to get tore back down. I'll throw a new bearings and new Hasting uh, piston rings in it. Because I really want to make it to Import Alliance down here in uh, Kentucky, close to Tennessee. So, definitely stoked for that. That's going down October 19th and 20th, I believe. And it's going to be a pretty cool time. So, I need to get this car done. So, definitely stay tuned. I'll make some more videos, you know, throughout the weekend or whatever. Uh, I'll do some more pulls or whatever. See if I can't dial it in a little, little better. There's always uh, room for improvement until you max out. But I guess that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hit that thumbs up button. That helps me out. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Hit that little button. And uh, be sure to copy and you know paste that on your Facebook wall or whatever you you know social media you have. And I appreciate it. Catch you guys on the next one.